guys, it's Ursa's Revenge, and today we are going to cover something that you guys have been asking me to cover again for a very, very, very long time. And uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do HD skins, particularly just the eyes, in a free, yep, free paint program. We are going to be using a program called Medibang Paint Pro. It is absolutely free. You can even get this on PC, Mac, iOS, Android, basically when I was looking through all of the download options, it was basically for every device you could even think of. So this should cover a lot of your questions about what devices you're allowed to use for this. I will double check to make sure that you can do the same steps on a phone. And if they are different, I will go back and do a second tutorial on my phone. No promises when that one comes out. But seeing as my HD skin tutorials are two of my most popular videos on my channel, I feel like I need to I need to do this for you guys. I need to go back and, and make this in a free program because a lot of you guys can't have Photoshop. I didn't think about that the first time that I made the tutorial. It's just what I'm used to using. So I also got a lot of comments from you guys saying that you guys wish you guys were professionals at Photoshop. I actually am a Photoshop professional. I do it for my job all the time. So what I've decided to do for this video is I'm going to go in pretty much completely blind to Medibang Pro. I've already just used the program once about five minutes ago just to make sure that it's actually even possible and it absolutely is. So I'm not a professional at Medibang whatsoever. I'm definitely going to mess up a lot of what I do, but we're going to try to keep it simple about how to make HD eyes and a face in Medibang Pro for free. I can't stress this enough guys. This is a free program. This is already long enough. Let's get to the program. Okay, so when you open up the program, you might get some ads. Go ahead and close those out. It's gonna pop up your window basically with a bunch of tutorials. Feel free to go look at the tutorials to help you guys get acquainted more with the program, but we're just gonna start by opening a file and we're going to open a regular skin that we wanna work on. If that window doesn't open, go ahead and do Control O or just press File Open and you can look for your file here. Today, we're just gonna use BB Paws Skin and it's going to start really zoomed out. If you're used to Photoshop like I am, you're gonna to wanna, to, you're gonna instinctively do Alt and scroll forward to try to zoom in. But in this program, it's a little bit backwards. To zoom in, you're actually gonna use your scroll wheel and pull out, so pull backwards. And to scroll out, you're gonna push it forwards. But we're gonna go ahead and zoom in. So we can see this is the normal 64-bit skin. We have to resize it to make this HD because there's no way you can fit the amount of pixels that you need to make an HD skin in this small format. So you're going to do edit, image size and make sure that you are selected on pixels px right here change the width to 1024 and your height will should also change to 1024 if it doesn't do constrained proportions at the bottom or you can just type in both in uh don't worry about the size or anything the dpi that is fine unlike photoshop when you hit okay you don't need to worry about it being blurry it should be fine see perfectly fine as a good practice, what I always do is I add a new layer on top. You're just going to go to the little little paper button over there and press add layer. It's going to add it on top. And now we can go in and draw our eyes. In effort to keeping this tutorial a little bit shorter, we are just going to do the eyes. I just want to teach you guys where the tools are and how to basically get it done. You can take any of these techniques that I'm doing and put them towards hair or clothing or the whole skin, really. It's just to teach you where the tools are in this program. And from there, you can pretty much do anything. Another good practice that I like to do is just select the area that I am working in so I don't get any stray pixels where I don't want them. You're going to select your selection tool. It's a lot of select on your bar on the left and just click and drag the whole area. You'll see a little line going around it. And when you release, everything that's not selected will turn blue. Not sure if that's, I mean, I'm assuming it's a default. I don't know if you can change it. Photoshop doesn't do that. You just get the little, little wiggly lines. But now I can color anything inside this area, but not outside of it. You can see how that color changed there. Control Z to undo. Another point that I want to make is that the way that I do it is not necessarily the way that you have to do it. This is just my technique. This is just the way that I draw. This tutorial is really just, again, to teach you the tools so you can do it any way you'd like afterwards. So from here, you just go ahead and draw. The brushes are down at the bottom here, but I actually like this brush control panel right here instead. So I have my brush right here. You can see it by the outline of the circle. You can change the size of it and you can see how the, the images are changing and how the brush is changing in the middle of the artboard. Uh, to choose your pixel size here. So it's really, really interesting to do it that way. Uh, pretty much probably gonna use four. Four pixels is probably good for a big area like this. And this one at the bottom actually does opacity. If you're at 100%, it's going to be a solid color. 
Let's choose a more obvious solid color. Let's do bright red. This is 100% per perfectly solid. And if you do less, say 40%, it's 40% of the color because the other color is shining through. That's how opacity works. So 40% opacity, 100%. Okay, so I just pressed delete to get rid of it, and now, finally, we are able to start drawing. All right, so unclick the box to get out of the selection area. I'm gonna start with the pupils, so I go four pixels in on each side, except for the top. So four pixels in that way, four pixels in that way, and four pixels from the bottom, that looks good. And I'm gonna color the inside in a darker color. So what's really cool is that you can right click anywhere and it'll eye drop it instead of going to the eyedropper tool. So I'm just gonna right click this darker green. So we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna make the pupil a little bit darker, drag them around the color in the little little rainbow box over there. And we can go ahead and click on our brush again, or we can press the brush here and use the brush control settings. So I'm gonna press the brush tool here and use the ones in the control settings and just color the whole thing, but I want that 100%. So we're gonna color that all in. This is the start of our pupil. Um, but the pupil's not all one color. I'm gonna go ahead and add some shading in here as well. So grab a little bit of a lighter color coming from the bottom. Cool. I'm gonna leave it a little bit sharper edges. I think I think that might look nice. Let's zoom out and see if we like that. You can do Control D to deselect. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I like that a lot. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of cute. Sometimes I can probably I can actually probably make this a little bit darker even. So I'm just gonna go ahead in with my brush again and just darken it a little bit. Just add a little bit more more um, dimension in here. Make this side a little bit lighter even, and just to add a couple more shades in there. It's a little liney, but it, it's cute. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to do that part. So we'll, we'll leave it the three layers in here. Um, next part, we'll do the outside of the iris. I'm going to go ahead and select the whole colored part of the eye again. But this time, I'm going to deselect the darker part of the eye. So I'm going to hold down Control. You see the little minus sign after I selected? And then grab the area that I don't want to color in. That's going to deselect that area so I don't get to color in it. So that's good. And then go ahead and grab the color that you're going to use for the majority of the eye. Fill the whole thing in. We're going to go ahead and add dimension as well. Go a little darker. Add your darker tones in there. Might even go a little darker than that. I feel like the Bob Ross of HD skins. Right click. I'm going to grab the color from over here. Fill in the bottom a little bit more. And I think I'm also going to right click the lighter part of the eye and make an extra, an extra little glimmer over here. Yeah, that's cute, I like that a lot. Okay, but we're not done yet. If we deselect Command D again, Command or Control D, I use PC, so I use Control. Uh, we have a little bit of shading going in here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna add a little bit more dimension. This is getting super dimensional. High def, lots of dimension, we're doing it. So now we're going to select my the pupil again, the darker, darker, darker part. So I'm gonna select the whole thing. And now I'm just going to deselect. Basically, I just want the outer ring selected. So go ahead and hit control again, deselect the parts that I don't want. And now we're gonna go ahead and have some fun with opacity. I'm gonna grab a darker color. Probably if I go almost all the way black, it should be good. And I'm gonna drop my opacity to about 40%. And I'm just gonna go over it. And you should be able to still see a little bit of color shifting there. Uh, that's exactly what we want. We want it to shine through a little bit. We kind of just want it to be like a little dark light, low light. That's the word. All right, cool. It's got a little bit more dimension. We're going to do the same thing to the inner part of the iris. So this time I'm just going to select the part that I want. Similar to how we held control to deselect, you can hold shift to add uh, an additional to an additional selection to this. Okay, so instead of making a dark light, we're gonna do a highlight. So we're gonna grab as close to white as possible. I'm gonna leave the 40% and I'll grab our brush and just go over this area. Now that might be a little bit too light. No, no, that's nice. I like that. That's cute. I like it. All right, cool. I think what we might do is do a little bit less, but maybe we'll only do 20% on the very outline. Hold down shift to add to your selection. Control to remove part of your selection and drop this down to 20% and go ahead back around just for a little bit more. 
Lastly, I like to add some little glints and gleams to my eyes. I think that it just adds something cute. We're gonna go for it. So I'm going to select the whole thing because it's okay if the gleam goes a little bit further than we anticipate. I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to do 100% pure white at about size four. So we're gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna do it just about here. I'm gonna click it down a couple of times so it gets a little bit darker. Uh, and now I'm gonna do some that are at two points. Maybe here, click them twice. And I wanna do another one down at the bottom. Uh, we're gonna do a one point, just add a little, another little gleam anywhere we'd like. You can be kind of creative with this. Just, just add the gleams as you feel. And we're going to add an extra gleam, just going, going off the side. All right, I think that that's a really successful HDI. Um, it looks a little weird when you put it next to two color blocks like this. So I'm also gonna go in here and I'm just going to make them the same color. There we go, they're the same color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of shadow. Not sure why, but I feel like it needs a little shadow. I'm gonna do two blocks. I'm gonna do two blocks across the whole thing. And I'm going to get Maybe about 20% seem to work well, so we'll do 20%. Pure black. And just run it across that way. Now, keep in mind, if you go over opacity, it's going to darken. So if you don't, if you want it to all be the same opacity the whole way through, just do it all in one fell swoop. Like that. But if you like the overlap, which I actually kind of liked, I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Yeah, that's cute. Deselect and... I don't know, guys. It looks pretty successful to me. Now, the next step is to take this and duplicate it on the other side. We don't have to redraw it, though. What I'm going to do is, because we have this on a separate layer, I'm going to just drag this layer. Oh, wait, we don't have to drag it. I'm just going to select the layer, and for ease of, of use, you could rename it. I'm just going to do left eye. And you can just hit this button here that says duplicate layer. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to rename this right eye and if you just take your move tool you can you can see that it's two separate layers but that looks that looks a little strange we're going to take this and we're going to flip it around to do this i'm just going to do layer rotate flip horizontally and it'll move to the other side but we're just flipping that layer which is awesome and i'm just going to drag it back over where it belongs line it up to its pixels and there we go there we have our HDIs using Medibang Paint Pro. To learn how to use this in Minecraft, I use a mod called More Player Models. I cover how to do that at the end of my very first HD skin tutorial video. I will link that in the eye in the corner, as well as the second HD hair and eyes video that I did, because I do cover hair. That Those tutorials were done in Photoshop, but you can take what you learned here today in Medibang Paint Pro and apply it to those same concepts. I just show you basically my drawing techniques and I think I did the same thing here too. So exactly how we made HDIs, you can do literally anything for your HD skin. I know that there's actually kind of like a little bit of a trend in HD skins where it's just the eyes. And honestly, I'm all for that. Making HD skins actually takes a really long time. I don't think people realize how long it takes, but just the eyes adds such a cute twist to your skin and if other people also have more player models, they'll be able to see your HDIs too. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see any more tutorials I might do on this. Again, I have to check to make sure that it works the same exact way on the phone. If it doesn't, I would like to do a tutorial on that as well. Let me know if you guys learned anything new. And again, you can do the same exact thing with clothing, hair, and everything else with the same techniques that I showed with the eyes. It just takes a little bit of creativity. I think you guys got it in you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!